Ken Paxton joins us. He's the um, state attorney general in the state of Texas. It's always good to see you, sir. Thank I you. I know your politics certainly would be different than the mm -hmm. mayor of Oakland, but your relationship between state uh, officials like yourself and the federal government would be similar. What's your reaction to something like this happening? Well, certainly she has a right to free speech to say what she wants to say, but the reality here is that she should not be surprised if she ends up losing federal funds for certain grant programs for her city. And honestly, I think she's only doing harm to her own people. Now, she's not breaking a law, is that right? To, to, to your point where she has a right to say what she has to say, how far can you go in this situation? So it's different in every state. In my right. state, she would have some issues. She might okay. lose, uh, she might lose funding from the state. She might be subject to fines. In California, obviously, the law is much more lenient. But she is at risk of losing federal funds for certain programs that might help her city. Is that the right remedy in your view, just in your way of looking at uh, this? And, what, you know, in other words, what should the relationship be on a case like this between a state official, state or local official and the federal government? Well, I don't have a problem with there being consequences. Certainly here, the, the loss of federal funding. Yeah. It's up to Congress to decide if they want to do, impose other crimes or other, uh, other penalties, as Texas did, which is you can actually be removed from office. You're actually subject to actually charges and, and, and being subject to misdemeanors. So you, it's much more significant in Texas. Obviously, the federal government could do the same thing if they wanted to. All right, the president um, made some headlines um, you know, on a similar subject. Last Thursday, he threatened, uh, speaking of California, to remove you know, ICE agents from the state. He was angry at the time and said, boy, if, they don't, uh, if things are, are going well, I'll just take these agents out of there. I'm really thinking about that. Your, your view on that, is that the right way to go? I mean, I wouldn't take them out. I might do exactly what they're doing, which is put more ICE agents in. I think that's really what the mayor is forcing. Mm -hmm. She's forcing more more agents to be put there. And I don't think it would be a, a, a good signal to to say that we're, we're actually going to pull people out. Right. I guess his point was like, well, let's see how you do without them. And then you'll come back, you know, begging for support because things will go so so poorly. There'll be so many crimes committed or whatever the case may be, right? Well, we do know in Texas we do keep track of those crimes, and we yeah. have a significant number of crimes from illegals that we d we've documented over for years. So you're right. Th ultimately, they would suffer the same type of consequences. Let me ask you a broader immigration question just before we let you go. Where do you think we are on all this? The Supreme Court uh, not taking the DACA appeal was interesting. I guess it makes this March 5th deadline pretty much irrelevant now. We're going to go on for some time without any kind of a deal on immigration, whether it be DACA, border wall, or, or any other priority, aren't we? Well, I think that's right. Although ultimately you might see as the cases work through the circuits, you might ultimately see the Supreme Court take it once it's ripe for being basically heard on the merits. Okay, so then maybe not March 5th, but you're relatively optimistic something can be worked out because as we know, as you know, the federal government operates on deadlines, the, the Congress that is. Well, absolutely, because if you have different circuits having different opinions on this, ultimately the Supreme Court's going to have to make a decision right. unless Congress acts. And at this point, it doesn't seem like you're, you've got Congress acting on, on, on this at all. Or, or on anything else. Uh, Ken so. Paxton, good to see you. Thank you, sir.